Hello everyone, it's Juliet here from Spoilt Rotten Beads and I've got a lovely pattern to show you today. It's the Sky Full of Stars pattern that was made for us by Vivian, which was first featured in Bead and Jewelry magazine. So Bead and Jewelry magazine issue 118 featured the pattern for this amazing bib necklace that Vivian made for us using this Sky Full of Stars component pattern. I'm going to show you how to make the little star components here today. There is a free downloadable pattern over on the website so do head over to the website and download that free pattern. Um, before you do though please do subscribe to our channel because it's always wonderful when you do it really does make a big difference to us so leave your comments below and uh, let us know what you use this component pattern to make because I've made some earrings I was saying in the video I think there's a really fun way you could use it to make a pendant there was of course Viv's lovely bib, bib necklace you can make bracelets or you could just make tree decorations I mean I've got them in my ears but you could put them on your tree who knows so this is the amazing Sky Full of Stars necklace that was designed by Vivian Hussey. It uses these lovely star components. So she has used seven different, um, different sized star components and then joined them all up to create this amazing necklace, which I just think is stunning. It just looks so gorgeous for, for Christmas or New Year's Eve. Really, really pretty, real statement piece. I'm gonna show you how to make the stars that Vivian made the necklace out of. And I'm gonna make this lovely five pointed star here. And I'm using larger bugle beads than Vivian used so that I can just show you a different effect and how you can vary this pattern really. So what you're gonna to need to do is first of all, of course, head over to the website and download the free pattern. I have put a link to the free pattern in the description for this video tutorial. So do head over to the, to the website, and download that free pattern. And once you've got the pattern, you will find that you'll need some Samos Parpuka beads. And these are the Samos beads here. And they are an oval shaped bead with one flat side and one domed side and they have two holes. There's one hole here and another hole at the other end. So they're kind of a two hole oval bead. And you do need Samos beads because it is the domed side in this bead that holds these stars together. Because if I bring up the pattern here, you, the, the, the pattern, sorry, the star here, you'll see that the domed edges are all facing inwards on my star and it's that domed edge that kind of makes this pattern hold together so you do need Samos beads. You'll need some size 11 seed beads and you can go with a Miyuki or a Toho. I am using Toho here and it's colour number 461 which if I just have a quick look up on our website I'll be able to tell you what it is. Let me have a look. It is high metallic grape higher metallic grape I'm using and my Samos bead here is um, Jet Full Slipperit and then I'm using some bugle beads. Now the bugle beads on my larger star here are 12 millimeter bugles whereas the bugles that Vivian has used on her stars are all six millimeter bugles and you can either use a plain bugle bead or a twisted bugle bead. So this star here uses plain bugles, whereas this one here uses twisted. So you can get a little bit of an extra sparkle, I think, with the twisted ones. It's nice to, to combine them. You can make the stars as big or as small as you want. So this one here, I have started with five of my Samos beads. And this one here, again, Viv started with five Samos beads. Whereas some of the others, she's used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So she's used seven on this black star here, six on this star here. So you can really vary the number of Samos beads that you start off with, and that will determine the size of your star, as will the, the size of the bugle beads. Because if I put these two next to each other, you can see this one and this one both started out with five Samos beads, but because this one's got the larger 12 millimeter bugles on it, it's much, much bigger than this one, this little dainty star here with the six millimeter bugles. So you can vary this pattern quite a bit really to, to suit your needs. You can make earrings, you can make Christmas tree decorations, join them together to make 
Viv's lovely necklace. There's so much you can do with this pattern and it's really simple as well, which is what I'm gonna show you today. So I'm gonna make the matching pair to this earring. So I'm gonna need just five of my Samos beads there. So I've just got my five Samos beads and you wanna make sure that as you thread them on, you thread them all on. Oh, excuse me, I've got the sneezes. <laughs> oh my goodness. You wanna thread them all on. <clears throat> oh my goodness, sorry about that. All the same way up. Right, gather myself together. So you wanna thread them on so that they're all facing the same way up. So all of the domed edges and all the flat edges are on one side. And I find it easy to line them up like this so that as I'm threading, I know I'm threading them the right way. So I'm gonna start off by picking up one of my size 11 seed beads and go through one of my Samos beads, then a size 11 seed bead, another Samos bead, etc. So we're just going to thread them all on, separated by a size 11 seed bead. Okay. So that is all five of my Samos beads threaded on. I'm just taking them down towards my tail of thread here. And then what we're going to do is thread back through all of the beads again so that they form a circle. Okay, so I'm going to go back through the size 11 first and then through all of the beads that I have just threaded on. There we go back through them all and hold my tail of thread on my hands here so that I don't end up pulling it through. So this is my tail of thread here. I'm just going to hang on to it a minute. Pull it all round and it will form a circle like that. And then you can knot your tail of thread to your working thread. You tie a nice double knot and pull tight. Like so. And you've just got, looks like a little flower already. It looks really cute. And what you can do now is just pull that knot that you just made inside the next bead. And then step up through the empty hole in that same Samos bead that you just exited. So I'm coming out of the empty hole in this Samos bead. And now I'm gonna put a size 11 seed bead in between all of my Samos beads, again, all the way around. So this just going through the top hole now. And I'm not pulling tight right yet, because right yet, it will just get me into a bit of a pickle if I do. So I'm just letting them sit there. There we go, and through that last Samos bead there. So it will look like that. Let me just zoom the camera down. There we go. Now you can focus in a little bit better on my work. So I'm now going to pull tight. And as I pull tight, those Samos beads all cup up together like so. It's so clever. So all the flat edges are on the outside and all the rounded edges are now facing towards the center. I'm gonna pull tight and I am just gonna thread through all of those beads one more time, just to pull them up nice and tight together. Because with this pattern, to make your stars nice and firm, I think it's a really good idea just to retrace your, your thread path a few times as you bead. And that really does kind of stiffen the whole piece up. I've still got my tail of thread on there. But I'm just gonna pull it through to the other side so it doesn't annoy me. There we go. Okay, so that's my like little circle of my, um, of my Samos beads separated with my size 11 seed beads. And now we're ready to start adding the spokes onto our star. 
So I'm now exiting from a size 11 seed bead here. And what I'm going to do is pick up another size 11 seed bead, followed by a bugle, another size 11, another bugle and another size 11. Let me just zoom back out again. There we go. I'm just going to pause for a moment and let you guys see what I've just done because I'm not sure that was entirely clear. So I exited from this size 11 here. I picked up an 11 bugle, 11 bugle, 11. And now I'm going to skip over the Samos bead and go through the size 11 that is on the other side and pull tight and kind of just wiggle my beads into position like so and that is my first spoke on my star and I need to do that four more times so it's a size 11 a bugle size 11 bugle size 11 skip over the samos and go through size 11 on the other side of the Samos bead and pull tight. You might want to just give it a little wiggle into position. You just need to continue round your star now, adding in those spokes in exactly the same way. And then I'll show you the clever bit. Well, I think it's the clever bit. Anyway, very clever of Viv, this pattern. You can see it's taking shape already. They're really simple and nice and easy to make. <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to seeing how you guys adapt this pattern and, and really make it your own, because I think there's quite a lot you can probably do with it. We haven't even tried to make a, a bracelet or a, like a series of pendants. I think that that would really look pretty. Like you could have the stars like one on top of the other, maybe sort of going um, bigger at the bottom and, and smaller up towards the top to create a really cool pendant, which would just look stunning, you know, on an evening dress or on Christmas day. Okay, so this is my last spoke going on. I'm going back through the size 11 on the other side of the Samos bead in exactly the same way as before. And now what I'm gonna do is step up through this 11 bugle 11. So I'm gonna come out of the size 11 bead that is on the tip of my very first spoke that I created. Okay, and now what we do is we flip our work over. So you see that the bugle, the, the spokes are all on one side at the moment. And this is what makes the pleat piece double-sided is now I'm gonna pick up another bugle and a size 11. and go through the size 11 on the other side of the piece. Just trying to position this so that you can see what I'm doing. So you end up with this three dimensional effect. So I'm coming out of a size 11, picking up an 11 and a bugle and go through the size 11 on the tip of that point of that spoke, pull tight, another bugle and another size 11 now, and then through the 11 on the other side of that Samos bead, and you can see how we've got two spokes here and two here and two here and we just need to work our way around the piece and once you've done that that's when i think it really pays off to go through your work a few few times with your needle and thread so literally it doesn't kind of matter about your thread path just tighten 
everything up by going through it a couple of times and that is really gonna make the, your star sit a lot prettier because it's just gonna be a little bit stiffer um, and have a bit more structure to it. So I really would recommend you do that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna thread on my last few spokes and show you how I tighten up my work. Let me just move my bead mat, straighten it up there. There we go. So I've got three more bugles to add on now and then I will be done. They're so simple and easy to make, aren't they, these stars? They really are such a clever pattern. I would never have thought of putting those Samos beads together in that way. It is a clever lady. Okay, so this is my last bugle bead going on now. And so that's all my beading done. Now I bead quite tight anyway, so my piece is actually, as you can see, it's holding up quite well. But this is where I do think it, it pays off just to kind of go through your work a few times. So it doesn't really matter what your thread path is, just stitch through your work um, until you're happy that it is nice and stiff and secure. You can kind of go from one side of your star to the other using the size 11 beads that are on the tip of your star which is what i've just done here on the tip of your um your spokes i guess we're calling them spokes and that's really going to kind of add some structure to your work there when you're happy that it is all fine and dandy and sitting how you want it to sit then you can just finish off your thread by knotting in between a few beads and trimming off your tail of thread and that's it really and then you're going to add on the ear wire if you're making a little earring with a jump ring um, and a pair of chain nose pliers which i'll show you how to do in just a moment when i have finished off here so i think i'm kind of done here this is all looking really nice it's sitting really nicely so i'm just going to finish off my tail of thread now by stitching down between a couple of beads so I get a loop and then pull that knot that I just created in between a couple of beads. Do that a few times without getting your loop stuck on the top of your spoke like I just did. And then you can pull that knot that you just created inside, inside a few beads and then trim off your tails of thread which is what I'm going to do now. So where are my scissors? There they are. Right, that's one tail of thread trimmed off. And the next one, there's my lovely star. And I'm now just ready to add it to my earring finding using a little jump ring. Let me just straighten everything up for you. So I'm going to use two pairs of chain nose pliers to do this. And I'm just going to need to open the jump ring. That's all the only thing I'm going to need to open. So I'm just going to hold the jump ring either side of the opening, twist it out gently. Make sure I can just get in between a couple of those beads on the top there. So it's just going kind of through the middle of the spoke like so. I can then slip on my earring finding and close off that loop with my chain nose pliers and there are my lovely star earrings which are really good fun uh, and uh, if I just bring the necklace back into shot you can see kind of how they compare with the necklace you know I haven't made them to match the necklace but there's no reason why you couldn't make yourself a lovely matching set if you wanted to as well uh, so thanks very much for watching please do leave your comments below 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because it really does help us out when you subscribe and head over to our website to download the free pattern as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.